Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my favorite, my March favorite and I know it's like the middle of April but I didn't upload anything for like two weeks so my schedule is a little bit behind but I wanted to do a favorite for March either way so yeah I'm just going to show you the things and it's mostly base products it's time actually I did um uh, five favorite base products for March 2020 I can leave it up here I have not all the products in here I have three of them so yeah I'm just going to show you I'm going to talk a little bit about them and I think this is going to be a really quick video so I will start with the base things and two things that I think these two are my new holy grails when it comes to foundation. I don't have them on today, but it is the new, pretty new, at least from NYX. It's the High Glass Face Primer in Moonbeam and the Born to Glow foundation, and I have the color Pale. And I love these. These give such a nice glow together, and it is just the right amount of coverage I want. I want a pretty light coverage or maybe between light and medium i do think that some medium coverage foundations are too much but these two together are perfect it really, really looks like skin it's really nice to have on and i love them so so much and this pale from nyx i can wear it it's I think it's a little bit too dark, but it's not that dark that you can see that it is too dark. So maybe it's not too dark, but I really hope that you get what I mean, but I really, really, really love them. These are so good and they work perfect together. And I think I will keep buying these because they are so, so good. And then a powder that I have really, really loved and not only to that NYX foundation but to all other foundations I've tried with it, with it is the close up uh, smoothing pressed powder from Nabla and I got this in a light and I have read so many beauty bloggers that love this but I usually don't love pressed powders because I think they make my skin I have a uh, dry skin and I think that some matte powders making my skin even drier but this doesn't it looks like this and it doesn't feel cakey on the skin it is just perfect and i really really like it it's my skin looks like skin so this powder i can really recommend if you want a really good pressed powder so yeah this is also new holy grail and it has been i don't think i've ever had a pressed powder that i really have loved but now I do. Then the last thing to my base is actually a blush that I had in my shop my stash for March and it is the Instain in Pinstripe from The Balm. I have always been a little bit afraid of this because it is pretty dark but I used it quite a lot in March and I really really like it. I have to go in with a brush that doesn't pick up that much and go in very very lightly and build up the blush but it works perfectly and for me that is this pale and the blush that is this dark it it works but i need to be careful but i really really like it it is it got like a tinsy tinsy shimmer to it and it's just an amazing color i really like darker blushes but i'm always afraid <laughs> it's going to be too much and this really sticks on the skin and I think it's really really good so if you want a colorful blush try the in stains from the balm but be careful an eyeshadow palette that I really have liked in March is I've done a first impression with it and I I really liked it in my first impression and it is the Nomad palette from US Place the only thing that bothers me with this palette is it's smaller than the other palettes. It has a new size. None. I don't think any of the other palettes from US Place has this size. 
and I don't know why they do that because it's annoying. But the palette looks like this. I I know that some people like say it is like tri palette. I see what they mean, but it is amazing and the colors are so so good. It's the normal like super amazing you just place quality. So I really enjoy this palette and I think this is going to be one of my top palettes from Juve's Place. It's it's so so nice and like this shimmer is such a nice shimmer. And like these grungier tones like this one and this one and also like these two. Amazing. It is such a good palette and I first tried the Warrior Free palette. And then I tried this one and the Warrior Free. I don't feel that it's the same amazing formula that Juve's Place usually have. I think it was a little bit more of a struggle to work with the Warrior Free. And then I tried this after and it was like, yes, it's still there. So this has been an absolute favorite in March. And okay, then we're going in to the last favorite. I am in the hunt for... Uh, dupe for one of my absolute favorite liquid lipstick and that is Hanging Rock from Nabla. It was a limited edition and I don't want to use it up because I want something that is as amazing. So I was on the web searching a little bit and I come into Lime Crime and I bought four liquid lipsticks from Lime Crime. None of them was a dupe but I found a new favorite. And it is, it's the Velveteens from Lime Crime and this is in Riot. I have used this in a lot of videos. This wasn't planned to be a dupe for the Hanging Rock. I just wanted to test some lipsticks from Lime Crime. It looks like this. I really, really like it. I have used it a lot and... I think it it feels nice on the lips, it stays on good, so yeah, I'm really happy that I bought this right, because this has been an absolute favorite in March. I have used it quite a lot, actually. And that was actually all for this video. It's It was a pretty short video, but I it doesn't feel like I've used that much makeup in March. It doesn't feel like that. But I am so happy to find some new base products that I really, really, really love. And it's always fun to find a new favorite lippy. So yeah, I think that's all for this video. I really hope you liked it. Did you have any special favorite for March? Please let me know. It's always fun to hear what you have had for favorites. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!